WRMC in its critical role researching the COVID-19 virus is seeking families to volunteer for an ongoing study. Now, the goal of the study has evolved along with the pandemic. Isabel Garcia joins us with insight from researchers at the helm of the effort. Isabel. Yes, good evening, Teresa. It's a pretty wide reaching study. The primary requirement to qualify is to be living in a household with at least one child, and that can be any age up to 18. And you can participate regardless of vaccination status. Two and a half years into the COVID-19 pandemic, while the virus is not a complete mystery anymore, there are certainly plenty of unanswered questions. URMC is currently conducting four separate COVID-19 studies, one in particular, the family study. Dr. Jennifer Nyack is an associate professor of pediatrics at URMC. She explains how through the evolution of the COVID-19 pandemic, the family study has changed a bit along the way as well. Early on, our suspicion was there was a lot of undiagnosed infections, and I think to some extent that still is the case. But also to look at overall the antibody levels to not only SARS-CoV-2, the viruses that causes COVID-19, but these other seasonal coronaviruses. Participants interested would, of course, first give proper documented consent and a unique component. Most of this can be done through what's called teleresearch visits via Zoom. Once data is collected, URMC will obtain about 20 microliters of blood, about a Q-tip full. And with that, we're able to test for kind of a broad range of antibody responses to different coronaviruses to get an idea of how exposure and age correlate with if they've been infected symptoms. Dr. Nyack is encouraging families to get involved in the study, which will provide critical information for how to best navigate this current pandemic and potentially other health emergencies in the future. It's through science that we're going to be able to both respond to, to this virus, but also the next thing that comes along. And there are some opportunities for compensation for families as well. Dr. Nayak explains that since this study is non-invasive and mostly surrounds collecting data, each family member participating per household typically gets paid about $10. And we'll have all the details for you on our website. And we'll send it back to you at the desk. Okay, Isabel, thank you. Some other things, the other research taking place at your amazing URMC is a study for mothers and infants. If you're interested in learning more or applying to be part of the study, there is a direct link, as she mentioned, over at rochesterfirst.com.